Hey guys, what is going on? Carter here. Got another video for you. Meh, more of a show off. I want to show off my brand new Super CQC 7. This baby is a beauty and I am in love. That's right guys, I am in love. Uh, let's uh, throw a regular CQC 7 in the mix. You can see here, this one actually is not waved. Uh, this new one is waved and it has the black coating. I picked this up from uh, National Knives. Excellent, excellent place. Good people, just good, good people, and great prices too. They don't have a huge selection of stuff. Uh, they're not like a mega store where they've got all kinds of knives and things, but I would always recommend checking them out before you buy from somewhere else to see if they have what you need. Not only because their prices are actually really, really on point and really good, uh, but just excellent, excellent. When I bought this, I asked them, which I do sometimes, I said, you know, pick me out a good one. Pick me out one with uh, early lockup and uh, you know good centering. And he basically wrote back and said, "Well, I've only got one in stock, but I've taken some pictures. Um, the the lockup looks early and the centering looks great. But I took some pictures. You be the judge." And he actually took pictures of this knife and uh, sent it to me so I could be sure that uh, it met my my standards. Um, and it did, obviously. And I've also dealt with them in the past where I had to return something and they were just more than courteous, um, apologetic, and just amazing. Uh, just great, great people. I'll put the link down below, but it's just nationalknives.com. They also have a presence on uh, eBay, but I found that their prices are better if you buy from directly from them. Um, I'm assuming they mark up for PayPal fees and things like that. So, uh, and By the way, that's a good eBay tip. If you see something on eBay, always check to see if they have... Uh, a regular online store. Oftentimes they'll sell cheaper directly through their online store than through eBay, but it's a good t good way to find some people. But yeah, anyway, so kick-ass blade. Seriously. I love the way this thing feels in the hand. It is just so comfortable. It feels much better than, to me, much better than the standard CQC7. Although, you know, this is a nice, nice little uh, compact knife. This one just feels amazing. It's actually about the same size as the usual standard models. Uh, the 8's a little bit bigger, but you can see here, because this is actually a 3.3 inch blade, this is around 3.75 inch blade, which is about what uh, standard Emerson's are sized at. So kind of brings you into the regular ballpark. And it's, and it's actually priced in, according to that, in accordance to that. The Super CQC 7 is priced to be about the same as their standard models, give or take. Um, this is a 2011 model. It actually has all of the older 2011 features, none of the new updated ones like this one. Um, and I will actually do a separate video talking about uh, the recent updates that Emerson's made. There's a number of them, and I haven't seen anybody talk about it, so I will do a video on that probably right after this one. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a cool blade. It's going right in my pocket. I know I, I constantly change my EDC, but uh, super early lockup. Working it in, getting it nice and smooth. And it's actually one of the better Emersons I've ever gotten. It's almost dead center, no play, just a, a great knife, perfect fit and finish, no blemishes at all. You know, not that whenever I buy an Emerson, I never buy it expecting that uh, but you know when I notice it I take I like it I take pride in it so I figured I'd point it out but yeah sucker is killer this is killer awesome blade awesome blade all right guys um, I'm gonna start shooting my next video with the Emerson updates so I'll do that right now all right guys later